Okay, so let us try to understand how to find out the velocity and acceleration of say piston connecting rod using Green's construction. Now here in this particular example, the stroke length is given. The stroke length is given as 30 cm as shown over here. So stroke length is nothing but two times the radius or crank length and therefore crank length or radius is 15 cm. Then obliquity ratio is given as 4. Now we know that this is the obliquity ratio. It is given as 4. Now obliquity ratio is nothing but what? It is the ratio of length of connecting rod to the crank radius that is L upon R. So L will be equal to 4 times R where R is 15 cm. So the connecting rod length is 60 cm or 0.6 meter. And we have to find out the values of acceleration of slider, angular velocity and angular acceleration of connecting rod and velocity of slider at some when the crank has turned nearly an angle of 48.45 degree from IDC position or inner dead center position. Now in this particular example, the angular velocity of the crank is also given as 52 radian per second. Now we'll use the space diagram scale as 1 cm is equal to 10 cm. Now our crank radius is 15 cm. So 15 divided by 10, that will be 1.5 cm. So we are going to draw a circle of 1.5 cm radius. Then connecting rod length by scale will be equal to 60 divided by 10, that is 6 cm. So by taking some suitable angle, we will draw the connecting rod arc on this line of stroke of 6 cm. So let us start with the construction first. So here we are having the circle, crank circle of 1.5 cm radius. Now we take the suitable angle theta from the IDC position as given in the example. You can see the length of the segment as 1.5 cm over here. Now from this point draw the arc of 6 cm. So it will intersect this line of stroke at point at this particular point. So this is the crank, this is the connecting rod. Now extend this connecting rod such that it will intersect this y axis at certain point. Then locate the midpoint of the connecting rod. So as you can see, we have extended this connecting rod till it cuts this y axis or a line perpendicular to the line of stroke at this particular point and then we have found out the midpoint of this connecting rod also. With this as a center and this distance as a radius, we can draw a circle. Similarly, with this midpoint as a center and this distance or connecting rod as a diameter, we can draw another circle. So this point as a center and this is the radius, we have drawn this circle. Similarly, this point as a center and this distance as a radius, we have drawn the another circle. Now these two circles, they will intersect each other at these two points. We have to join these two points. So as you can see, we have joined these two points by this line. So this line will intersect this connecting rod at this point and the line of stroke at this particular point. As shown in the diagram, this is the velocity diagram. And similarly, this is the acceleration polygon as shown by this particular green part. Now we'll give the names to the various parts over here. So as you can see over here, this is OA is the crank, AB is the connecting rod, G is the midpoint of the connecting rod. With A as a center and AM as a radius, we have drawn this circle as we have discussed earlier. With G as a center and GA or GB as a radius, we have drawn the another circle. These two circles, they intersect each other at these particular points. We have joined a line. This line intersect the connecting rod at point Q and line of stroke at point N. And then we have said that this O 
a m is nothing but what it is the velocity diagram and is o a q n o is the acceleration polygon now we can take down certain lens from this so as you can see over here this particular lens will be required for the calculation so take down this length so o n is nothing but 0.96 then NQ is nothing but 1.11 cm, OA is 1.5 cm, this MA or AM is 1.01, OM is 1.31 and AQ is 0.17. So all these particular lengths will be required for the further calculation. So this is our Clean's construction representing this OAM representing the velocity diagram and OAQNO representing the acceleration polygon. Now, triangle OAM represents velocity diagram in which OA represents the velocity of crank, AM represents velocity of connecting rod AB. This is the connecting rod AB, and OM represents the velocity of slider or piston B. Similarly, in the polygon O A Q N O, this O A represents radial or centripetal acceleration of the crank O A. Then A Q represents the radial or centripetal acceleration of connecting rod A B. Then this Q N represents the tangential acceleration of the connecting rod. If we join this A with N, then that is the resultant acceleration of connecting rod A B. And then O N represents this O N distance, it represents the acceleration of piston. Now we have already taken down this lens, so we have to multiply this lens by the respective scale. For example, if we want to find out the velocity, then we have to multiply it by velocity scale. And if it is the acceleration, we have to multiply this lens by the corresponding acceleration scale. So how to find out this velocity and acceleration diagram scale, that is the important point. Now we know that velocity of the crank is given by r omega. So r is 0.15, omega is 52. So this is 7.8 meter per second. Similarly, the radial acceleration of the crank is given by r omega square. So again, substitute the value of r that is 0.15 and omega square that is 52 square. So you get this particular value. Now we know that. And just now we have seen that OA represents the velocity of the crank. So velocity of the crank A with respect to O is given by length OA multiplied by the velocity diagram scale. But this velocity we have already calculated as 7.8 meter per second. And by scale, what is the distance? It is 1.5 from the previous diagram that we have already seen. So we can calculate the velocity diagram scale as 7.8 divided by 1.5. In other words, on our particular diagram, 1 cm represents 5.2 m per second. That is the meaning of this velocity diagram scale. Similarly, the same length OA in the Klein's construction also represents the radial acceleration of the crank and therefore FRAO will also be equal to length OA in cm from the diagram multiplied by acceleration diagram scale. But we have already calculated analytically this particular value that is radial acceleration of the crank is 405.6. But we know that length OA from the diagram is 1.5 into acceleration diagram scale. So 405.6 divided by 1.5 that is 270.4 meter per second square. That is nothing but the acceleration diagram scale. This indicates that 1 centimeter on our diagram represents 270.4 meter per second square of the acceleration. Now let us perform some velocity calculations over here. Now velocity of the slider is given by length OM as we have already seen. So length OM and multiplied by velocity scale, you will get the required particular answer. Similarly, if you want to find out the velocity of the connecting rod, then velocity of the connecting rod is given by length AM. So this length AM into velocity diagram scale. So you will get this particular value. So all these values, if you remember 1.31, 1.01, we have already seen from the diagram. Now suppose we want to find out the angular velocity of the connecting rod. Then we know that V is equal to R omega and therefore omega is equal to V divided by R. So velocity of BA, this is this particular value and length of the connecting rod is 
in meters it is 0.6 so this is the angular velocity of the connecting rod similarly we can perform the acceleration calculations also suppose we want to find out the radial or centripetal acceleration of the connecting rod then that is given by length a q in our acceleration polygon so that length a q is 0.17 multiply by acceleration diagram scale because now we are doing some acceleration calculation so you will get this value similarly we can find out the tangential acceleration also so tangential acceleration is given by length q n so that value is 1.11 from the measurement multiply by the acceleration scale you will get this particular value and finally we can calculate the angular acceleration of the connecting rod so that is equal to tangential acceleration divided by the crank divided by the connecting rod length so this ftba divided by connecting rod length is 0.6 and this tangential acceleration is 300.144 so you will get the angular acceleration of the connecting rod as 500 radian per second square now acceleration of the piston is given by length on and multiply by the acceleration diagram scale length on is 0.96 and multiplied by 270.4 will get this particular value so in this way we can find out the velocity and acceleration of the various parts of the single slider crank mechanism